This is the Bell 429, a twin-engine helicopter that is fast, quiet, smooth, has plenty of power, and has safety in its DNA. Initially developed as a response to market demand for a more modern, versatile helicopter that could excel in multiple roles, the aim was to create a machine that would incorporate advanced technology, yet be cost-effective and easy to maintain. Development began in the early 2000s, with Bell collaborating with Korea Aerospace Industries, and the first prototype was unveiled to much anticipation and made its maiden flight in 2007. After rigorous testing and modifications to improve upon the original design, the 429 was granted its type certification from Transport Canada in July 2009, closely followed by certification from the FAA in the United States, as well as from the EASA. These certifications paved the way for the 429 to be marketed and operated globally, making it one of the most adopted helicopters by both civil and military operators worldwide. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Bell 429. Stepping inside, the cabin has a volume of 204 cubic feet or 6 cubic meters, and the layout is highly customizable, providing operators the flexibility to configure the cabin for specific missions. The interior has room for six passengers in seats that are 15.5 inches wide, but with slightly wider 18.5 inch seats and even wider 21.5 inch VIP seats with armrests and a console between them, the cabin can carry four, often with swivel and adjustable reclining features for added comfort. Seats in the front row may face forward or rearward to create a club seating arrangement. A removable partition behind the back row isolates the baggage compartment, which can be accessed externally through a small door on the right side. The total cabin length measures 4.8 feet or 1.46 meters in height and 4.6 feet or 1.41 meters in width. The flat floor also allows for greater flexibility when it comes to loading and unloading cargo or medical equipment. When it comes to build quality, the craftsmanship that has gone into the interior is astounding. Beyond the soft-touch leather seats and metallic accents, you'll find high-grade plastic materials and specialized anti-corrosive coatings on metal surfaces. The window constructions are also robust, being made from high-quality polycarbonate material that allows for excellent visibility, while also providing UV protection. The seats offer excellent lumbar and thigh support, and a generous leg room of 40 inches or 1 meter. The 429 is replete with state-of-the-art technology aimed at both operational efficiency and passenger convenience. Noise reduction features are significant, with the cabin maintaining a noise level below 75 decibels, even during high-speed flight. The cabin features climate control options and customized lighting to enhance the flight experience. Safety in the cabin meets and exceeds FAR 29 regulations. The seats are not just energy absorbing, but also designed to offer minimal obstruction during egress. The interior paneling and fixtures are all flame retardant, adhering to stringent safety standards. A state-of-the-art fire suppression system provides an added layer of safety. The ventilation system also includes HEPA filters, which can be critical for specific medical or clean room applications. For those interested in the extra bells and whistles, pun intended, the 429 offers options like built-in Wi-Fi, entertainment systems, and a refreshment center. For those who opt for a higher level of luxury, the aircraft also offers an array of optional amenities, which can range from a specialized sound system integrated into each seat to mood lighting that can be controlled via a dedicated app. Satellite communication is another optional feature, and a rear cabin console can be added, offering an additional work or entertainment space, complete with fold-out tables. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The width is around 61.4 inches or 155 centimeters, giving pilots ample lateral space and a near 180-degree forward field of view, facilitated by large anti-reflective coated windows. Both the pilot and co-pilot benefit from adjustable seats and foot pedals, allowing for a tailored fit. Pilots also have easy access to the centrally located collective control stick and a comfortably positioned cyclic stick, which improves overall maneuverability and control responsiveness. Overhead panels are ergonomically designed, tilted at optimal angles for easy reach and visibility. The panels are illuminated with backlighting that offers adjustable brightness, 
aiding visibility in both bright daylight and low-light night conditions. The instrument panel has a glare shield built in, and the layout allows pilots to customize where they'd prefer certain instruments or avionics displays to be situated. The cockpit's layout is also conducive to single pilot operations, with the most critical controls and switches easily reachable from the left seat. When it comes to avionics, the 429 often comes equipped with the Garmin G1000 NXI, which features two 10.4-inch LCD displays serving as a PFD and MFD. The PFD provides essential flight parameters such as airspeed, altitude, vertical speed, and heading, while the MFD offers a broader set of functionalities like mapping, weather data, and systems monitoring. Synthetic Vision technology offers a three-dimensional depiction of terrain, obstacles, and runways, providing an enhanced, situational awareness that is particularly valuable in low visibility conditions. The flight planning capabilities on the G1000 NXI are robust, allowing pilots to create complex routes with multiple waypoints and even temporary flight restrictions. The moving map is a feature to be lauded, offering detailed cartographic information and the option to overlay weather data. Traffic information is made accessible through the Garmin GTS 800 Traffic Advisory System. Weather-related functionalities are equally impressive, with the availability of real-time weather radar, METARs, and TAFs. ADSB in and out is a standard feature, improving the aircraft's ability to both broadcast and receive critical flight information, enhancing both safety and situational awareness. The avionics suite also incorporates a helicopter terrain awareness and warning system, an essential safety feature aimed at reducing the risk of controlled flight into terrain. There's also a built-in four-axis autopilot system offering modes like altitude hold, heading hold, and navigation tracking. In addition to those, the Garmin G1000 NXI also features an emergency descent mode. In the unfortunate event of cabin depressurization or other emergencies, the EDM can automatically bring the helicopter to a safer, lower altitude, significantly reducing pilot workload during critical moments. The G1000 NXI also allows for easy software updates through data cards or even wirelessly via compatible services. Data logging is another feature, capturing hundreds of parameters that can be analyzed post-flight for training or maintenance purposes. Now let's talk about the engine performance specifications, and how it flies. The Bell 429 is powered by two Pratt and AM Whitney Canada PW 207D1 turboshaft engines with a TBO of 4,000 hours, each producing 625 shaft horsepower. This engine is known for its compact design and remarkable power-to-weight ratio, contributing to the helicopter's nimbleness and responsiveness. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,500 feet or 762 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters. The aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 150 knots with an average hourly fuel burn of 32 gallons or 120 liters. An optional 40-gallon fuel tank can be mounted in the baggage area adding to the 368 nautical mile range with no reserve that the standard 215 gallons provide, giving the helicopter a maximum range of 390 nautical miles, which is 450 miles or 720 kilometers, with a useful load of 2,535 pounds or about 1,150 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Bell 429 is $7.5 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $2,500 to $4,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $300,000 to $450,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,250 to $2,000. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.